hi guys welcome back to my channel so i got somewhere to be but as usual i'm late and i think this is now starting to be the reason why i'm always late and i don't like it because i don't want to come off like i don't respect people's time but I mean, I already was late earlier on going somewhere, but I ended up changing my mind and turning right back around. And now I'm late again to go to another place. And then I'm going to be late to go to another place after that place. So I'm not proud of it, but when I have the urge to do a reading, I have an urge to feel a reading. I'm not going to lie. I was really sad today, but just starting doing these readings just made me feel a lot happier. It made me feel like oh, I'm in my element. So you guys really do make me happy. Uh, so I can't remember who requested this reading, so sorry, but I know that somebody requested this reading. And I did do it on Instagram, but my audience is different on Instagram. Some people found me through Instagram and some people found me through YouTube, so the audiences are very different. Some people have both, and yeah. I've got a lot to get done, but I had to do this one first. So if you want to choose part one, choose purple. If you want to choose part two, choose pink. If you want to choose part three, choose white. Meditate and go. Okay, so. All right, 125, part one. You guys chose the purple nail polish. What is stopping this person from making a move, reaching out, you know, etc.? Uh, I'm getting this person is being spiritually guided not to. Uh, I don't think it's by spirit, but it's just, it's more like a divine thing. It's more like, it's not in the person's best interest to make a move towards you at this current time because there are other issues this person needs to work through that are crucial. Both of you need to work through something, but mostly this person needs to work through something to do with their crown chakra, taking charge, receiving messages about themselves, their higher selves, shadow work. Yeah, this person needs to work on themselves. That's what I'm getting so far. We have 21, be patient. Two is a number of um, partnerships. And one is a number of new beginnings. So add them together, you get three. And three is collaboration. So if you want to have a new beginning in this partnership, it's going to require a lot of inner work and shadow work on both ends. But mostly your persons. We have, you are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. We have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. We have no. <laughs> it's like with an explanation mark. Um, we have three of pentacles, seven of swords, three of wands. And we have ego and jealousy. So what is stopping this person from making a move towards you or reaching out towards you? They have a lot of shadow work. It's their ego their insecurities, their lack of confidence, their lack of self-esteem is stopping them from reaching out. See, the thing is, Pal Wan, you intimidate him or her. You intimidate a lot of people because you are not for everyone, okay? This is a way of spirit letting you know that you're not going to be for everyone in this lifetime. Just because you feel a connection to someone or you like someone doesn't mean this person is meant for you. Doesn't mean this person has your best interest doesn't mean you're meant to grow old with this person. Sometimes we feel a strong connection with someone because there are certain lessons we need to learn from them before we move on to the next person. And it's really just not that deep. That's why I don't believe in this whole, like, I have a spiritual connection with someone, so therefore they're going to be my husband slash wife. That's not always the case. I've had very deep spiritual connections with people who I know in my heart, they're not the one for me, but I know I needed to learn lessons. Like I know, like I went into the relationship, a connection, knowing it was going to be temporary because I know there were lessons I needed to learn, you know? And I've mastered the art of detachment. So it's like, I know it was going to be temporary, but I know it had to happen. You know, I know when people say, if you're not dating to marry, then why are you dating? But it's just like, we're not living in the age of Pisces anymore. We're in the age of Aquarius. We have different life lessons and different skill sets to learn. This time period is different. It's not get married, have a farm, have kids and raise them and that's it. That's not the purpose anymore. There are lots of people who don't even want children anymore. There are lots of people not even getting married anymore. And yeah, there are a lot of same sex couples now who don't really want children. And the times are different. You know, everything is different now because we have a different purpose and that's it. We just update it. It doesn't mean you should abandon your values. Like if you want to get married and have kids, that's good. However, not every strong spiritual connection that comes into your life is meant to stay. 
you know especially if you're a light worker especially if you're an empath maybe if you're just like a regular person where you feel like i don't really have this big dream big this big purpose for all just i don't really know like i just want to get married and have kids then you know maybe that's not really your your journey i guess but i digress um you're not meant for everybody you know you're very you're incredibly unique you're someone who um i heard i'm not a word i'm not a line i'm not anyone that can ever be defined okay i hear i came to win i came to thrive to prosper to rise that's by Nicki minaj and rihanna called fly so i feel like you are a very powerful person you are a force to be reckoned with and honey you're just not meant for everyone and this person felt very intimidated by that like a lot of people do and it made them act out of their ego it made them become very jealous of you they may they may have ended up being in a competition with you and sometimes these people take themselves out of the equation you know sometimes someone gets so intimidated and nervous around a person they like and they feel like let me just take myself out okay this person could have ghosted you because we do have the seven of swords or this person could have wanted to make you feel inferior so that they can feel a bit more powerful so they may have left you on red or made you wait for them or made you feel like they just didn't care as much about you because they did that on purpose it was their ego it was their jealousy you know which shows that they're not secure within themselves okay but if you really want this connection there's a need to be patient because I feel like this person has a lot of shadow work to be done. I feel like slowly this person is starting to recognize. So this person could have rejected you with a no. Um, they could have made you feel small. They could have added other people to your situation, third parties, but that's not for everyone. Um, they could have put other things before you, like even work and just anything else and made you feel like you were second place or lost. And I feel like slowly this person is waking up to the reality that they've been doing that and they kind of realize, yeah, I'm kind of an asshole. Like, I need to work on that. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why power one triggers me so much. And um, I feel like that was their way of controlling the situation and con controlling their emotions because we do have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And I feel like that's an advice for you guys. It's like if someone is not making the move, then just go on with your life don't wait for them to make the move just focus on yourself and find someone who has more more bravery to make moves and make and stick by them you know i feel that like this person does want to work on themselves because do have three of wands and that is taking themselves as well as your connection to the next level so there is an intention there but it's like they still need to get a hold of themselves so because they know that they can't be toxic towards you. I feel like you guys have a good, healthy amount of self-esteem. It's like, you're not going to put up with that bullshit. It's like, you may like them, but you don't want someone who's going to hurt you and waste your time and just be an asshole towards you either. It's like, you just, I feel like you're a pal that you like to study people. You like to understand why people do what the things that they do. You may not be someone who's like, okay, that person doesn't want me. That person's taking their time. Fuck them. I'm going to go somewhere else. You could be the part that's like, okay, fine. I want this person. They don't want me. They're not making sense. But scientifically, psychologically, spiritually, I want to understand what is going on and why they're doing this. Why Why am I attracted to such a person like this? What is this lesson behind this? What, what do I need to know? Like, You could really want to know the details. But yeah, this person is also another reason. This person feels that they don't make enough money, especially if they're masculine, to take care of you, to be there for you. And they feel insecure about this. Okay, I'm hearing my son do something, so one second. <laughs> oh, sorry. You got so much pudgy belly. Yeah, sorry. My son was actually, um, he was actually ripping up a book that I really love so much. Like he was ripping up um, a, um, The Lion King, but it's like, it had his own spin on it. And that really broke my heart. Like I literally like tore him off and he started crying, but it really broke my heart that he did that. But anyways, yeah. So the, it could be symb symbolistic for the fact that this person ruined everything between the both of you and it really hurt you you know so it kind of made you feel like what the hell is going on like why are you not making the move 
or this person has self-sabotaging traits okay but i'm also getting this person feels insecure about their finances they feel like uh you know i don't make this much so therefore i don't really feel like powerful enough to take charge in a connection um, with power one so it's more to do with ego and self-esteem so they may have made you feel rejected because they were scared that you were going to reject them first or make them feel like they're not good enough so they kind of wanted to beat you to the punch but they're not realizing that the air of their ways they want to work on it but it's going to take some time so you do need to be patient people don't just change you overnight if you have the patience for that good luck but who has time for that do you see what i'm saying but that's all I'm getting. I'm going to move on because I don't want to make this reading very long. Okay. Pile two, you guys chose the pink nail polish. Uh, what's stopping them from reaching out to you? Okay, with pink, I think of the heart chakra. I think of rose quartz. I think of compassion um but we're gonna have to unlock this even more okay it could be a mutual love connection so we do have it's not an emergency 16 so one is a number of beginnings six is a number of reciprocity so this person does feel the same way that you feel add them together you get seven which is about learning okay so this could be a learning pile we have portal doors are opening you decide rewards wild card this is giving me 11 11 energy twin flame energy as they say uh, we have in the near future so i feel like this person will make a move it's just delayed you know you may feel like why why are they not making it's delayed they're gonna make a move you just need to wait okay we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek this is really good for part two because i'm not gonna lie part two usually gives off very like negative vibes but this is the first time in a long while where it's positive. We have Page of Swords, the Strength card, and the Wheel of Fortune. We have Loyal, and we have Twin Flames. So this is a really positive pile. Like, this person's loyal to you. They're loyal to the idea of being with you. They don't want to be with anyone else. Even if they are with someone else, they, they, they don't want to stay with them. They, they have their eyes set on you for the long term. And they consider the connection they have with you as mutual, like it's a twin flame situation. So, um, and twin flames are rare. So, like, it's kind of like you both understand each other and can pick up on things telepathically with one another. And again, I don't say that, like, just lightly. Twin flames are rare. And I don't mean, even if you do have a twin flame, it doesn't mean you have to end up with your twin flame. It doesn't mean you have to marry your twin flame, you know, but... Um, how I interpret Twin Flame is different. It's not like you guys share a same soul. I don't see Twin Flames like that. I just see Twin Flame as... This is just my wording. I could be wrong. But it's like a soulmate, but the one that you end up feeling like the most like impacted by. Because we have multiple soulmates in this lifetime. Some impact us and some don't as much. Well, some impact us and then some we pass by and they don't stay for very long but twin flame is that one where it's like oh my god like this is like undeniably a strong connection that will stay with you for a long time like forever in this lifetime and that's how i interpret this is not the standard meaning but that's just what i interpret it as you know and you guys pick two and two is a is a loving number two 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 is a partnership and you guys it's the pink is the rose quartz a very loving pile very romantic energy this could literally be the one but there's no rush you know with this it's not an emergency meaning like there's no rush to be together if you have a strong soul recognition with one another then why what's the rush you know like if this is your soulmate what's the rush if this is the one like what's the rush you guys have your whole lives and probably many lifetimes together what's the rush you know so that's that's what's getting there's more things to learn in your own individual lives than each other so it's more like divine timing i feel like you guys need to focus more on building who you are what your purpose is yourself and what you expect out of life and in love but in future this person will be making a move right now they're stalking you they're holding back information but they're they're watching you but they're holding back they're remaining strong they're waiting for the right moment a uh, wheel of fortune so they're waiting for the right time they know they like you they know they want to be with you 
but it's just a matter of timing so this person feels like right now may not be the right time for for certain things to take place so that's why they're kind of taking you know their sweet time so yeah it's not personal to you really i feel mm. like there's just so many life lessons and so much learning so especially if this if you guys are in your 20s it's kind of like the 20s age is more like for learning discovering who you are traveling career building whatever and then like the 30s is more like enjoying that and then falling in love and building a family getting married or just dating around and who am i to say what people should do by what time you know like we all have different time frames for different things but i just mean that um, this person sees you as like they're always going to be my twin flame they're always going to be my soulmate like what's the rush and not in an arrogant way where they want to date other people and screw other people but in a way where it's just like we have our whole lives you know we will find each other again i'm just more focused on finding my purpose this could be a very spiritual pile so it's just divine timing really you know it's not the right time if you guys were to get together now um, it may disrupt and, and misalign certain other aspects in your life. So with career, job, um, perspectives and growth. Uh, so that's why it's just, it's by the universe. It's it's just divine timing. Um, but this person is very much loyal to you um, in the sense of like, they want to spend the rest of their life with you. If you feel like that doesn't resonate, pick another power because that was very positive. And not many people feel like they resonate positive messages because they tell themselves this is too positive. Which sounds really sad. It's okay to have positive messages, you know? But anyways. Um, okay, so pal three, sixteen forty. Um, what is stopping them from reaching out? Okay, I feel like this person has genuine reasons because it is white, so it is crystal clear. It is uh, an innocent reason, an honest reason. It's not just, oh, you know, I just don't want you. Like, there seems to be something very pure. Uh, we have decide the outcome. Four is a number of stability. Seven is a number of learning. Add them together, you get 11, which is a master number of manifestation, which then rounds back to two, which is, which is partnership. So this person is very cautious about what kind of decisions they make in regards to love because this person desires marriage and they don't want a divorce, you know? I mean, who who desires divorce? But you know what I mean? Like This person's more cautious than the average person. Could be Scorpio, could be Taurus, could be Virgo, could be Capricorn. Could be anyone who's just cautious, you know? <laughs> we have 40, say thank you. Four is a number of stability. So this is all about gratitude appreciation they want to make sure that they're, they're going to invest in you the right way and it will be truly appreciated but we'll, we'll get into the cards more we have deep cellular healing architurist energy physical and emotional healing i'm getting that this person didn't have a great experience with someone in the past and this person kind of took advantage of them made them feel less than and they weren't really appreciated for the their true authentic self so i feel like now they're very as a result very cautious you know um, we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We have yes, that's a confirmation. We have the four card. We have the tower card. I did say Scorpio. We have nine of swords, abundance, manifestation. I feel like this person, um, they want to work on themselves. Sorry if this is annoying you. They want to work on themselves with the... Um, they want to achieve big things in their career. They want to manifest abundance. They want to be really successful and stable and, you know, but at the same time, they don't want to be distracted with a connection. They they, they feel like if you distract them, then they're not going to achieve that. But they'd rather achieve that because they feel like that's how they, they, they'll be the best version of themselves. So they want to be the best version of themselves so that they're able to take care of you and, um, that's what they're waiting for but even when they do like this person doesn't re recognize this but they kind of use work and dreams and goals and aspirations as a coping mechanism or as a defense mechanism it's like i want to work on my career that's why i like being single i'm not ready for love because i i have goals to build and that may be true but they don't realize that subconsciously it's because you feel like you're not lovable right now you feel like no one would ever love you because you're not happy with the way you are now but when you do achieve those dreams, then you're going to feel like you're deserving of that love, you know? So that's what's coming here with the deep study of healing. I feel like in the past, this person was a hopeless romantic. They were happy to work and, and have someone by their side. They, they love, they pour. But when this person loves, they give their all, right? 
but they gave their all to someone who was not grateful was not appreciative used them made them feel like shit and then instead of becoming mean to everyone they decided to work on themselves and focus on themselves and put themselves first and just become the best version of themselves and be very selective with who they give their time and energy and love towards so it made them become very cautious and very discerning could be virgo but that this is a heal this is, this is a wound they need to heal you know and they bury themselves in work to avoid it and even though they're happy on their own they're not completely content because they do want this connection with you but they get scared that you'll do the same and they want someone who's very grateful they're just like they're not even asking for anything in return they're just like i want someone to just appreciate the love i have to offer them i'm not asking them to buy me a ferrari i'm not asking them to worship me i just want them to appreciate what i've done for them so they're very they're taking their time to decide the outcome and as they're doing that they're working on themselves but they do stay up at night and they do think to themselves you know like I don't trust anyone i feel like this person has trust issues and you could have the same wounds that's why you guys are soulmates you could relate to this person they have not had the best history um i feel like remember those walls are built well maybe they can tumbling down i feel like a part of you is breaking their guards that they set up to protect themselves from being hurt I feel like they're very distrustful of people in general. They don't know how to feel vulnerable. They don't know how to feel safe. Maybe at some point you didn't understand it from their perspective, but then you went through what you went through with different people and it really fucked you over. And now you understand how that would feel because, you know, it is hard to trust people in this time and day. Like, you can't just put your heart out on the line. You never know who truly appreciates you, who's using you, who will hurt you, who will leave you. Uh, some people are capable of all sorts of things. They hide themselves. And then once you're deep into a relationship, married with kids, they show the real them when it's like, when you feel like it's knee deep into the relationship. So this person is very distrustful. And I heard you ruined my innocence. And this is white, you know? So... I feel like this person was very like loving and innocent at some point and someone ruined their innocence and it made them a bit cold, a bit detached, you know, um, but they have a feeling that if they work on their healing and they achieve their success and they want to come to you because they're very sure about you with this. Yes, they're sure that you're the one for them. They have no doubt in their heart, but they just really just don't want to be wrong. It takes it's like it takes more for the actions to accept what the mind knows it's like you could tell yourself yeah i know this person is very trustworthy i know not everybody's the same i know they're not gonna hurt me but for some reason i'm still cautious like i just can't pull my body to do it like they may get into a moment where they're like yeah like i'm ready for part three i, I love part three why not i like part three and then they snap out of it quickly when they get flashbacks or they get triggered or or they may go on social media and hear about some negative news and they feel like oh, Part three could do that to me. No, I'm going to protect myself. You know, like this person could get flashbacks about the bad things I've had. PTSD, you know, it's a, it's a thing. I always say PTSD, but I'm not mentioning it lightly. People genuinely do have, I have PTSD. And I don't mean it in a way where, oh my God, this person hurt me. I got PTSD. Like, no, like I see a therapist. I have PTSD. Like I, I can't just be that freely and open with people. Like, you know, I, it doesn't help that I'm a Gemini. So people just think I'm just cold and detached because I'm a Gemini. Like, I just have no feelings. I don't care about people. I do. Gemini, fun fact, Geminis love and care about people so much. We love people. We may not show it, but we show it in other ways. We'd rather have you thinking that we don't care about you, but we secretly do. Okay. And little things affect us. Like, we don't like letting people down. You know, we love everyone to be happy. You know, Fun fact, so I digress. Um, this person knows that they, like, in order to have something with you, they need to take a chance. And that's the full card. That's being naive, like, a zero. That's like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm ready to trust. And I feel like this person knows that they have to do that. And they want to do that with you. Their heart says, yes, I want to do that with part three. But it takes a while for their heart to accept what the mind knows. If that makes sense, or they're hard to accept. I don't know if it's the other way around, but it takes a lot of bravery to let to be vulnerable, to allow things. They don't want to be this person that gets into relationships and then hurts people by pushing them away and not just and not trusting them. They don't want to be that crazy person that's, that's like, let me look through your phone. Who are you talking to? You know, they don't want to be that type of person, but they have this fear and they know that they can't handle that pain. It's too much for them. 
like this sounds bad but if they're dating someone they don't really feel connected in general like with anyone like no matter who they date they don't fall in love it's, it's to waste time for them but when it comes to marriage kids they don't want to mess that up they're just like i i can't if if i get in like the pain that comes with that i don't know if i'm gonna recover from that that's what this person thinks you know but they're trying to manifest abundance okay they're trying to focus on their coins but they are going to manifest you with time when they feel ready then they'll get their shit together i'm hearing i hear one of these days when i get my money right na -na 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 -na, show you all the finer things in life will forever be enough so there ain't no need to rush da -da -da. yeah this person they're serious about you but they're so scared it's like they want love but they're also so scared of it kind of like taurus energy like i want love i want the white picket fence but i'm so terrified of it you know and this person they have a lot to heal but they at least they recognize it because they probably stay up at night crying and thinking why can't i love freely like why am i so afraid of people but at the same time they're like but why are people so evil though like I, I my innocence was robbed like you can't blame me for thinking this way so um, you guys may have that similar wound, but you guys are going to be able to heal it in each other. If you, as long as you guys are both trustworthy, you'll be able to get through that, okay? But that's all I'm getting. My son is getting annoyed because I put him in timeout because it was ripping up important things. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead out and take care. Bye.